120, 120, 121. Can you write that down for there? 120, 121. I think you need the petticoat. I think it almost needs like a bit of nude in there, but I can't okay, remember. Okay. Or is it okay? Maybe once it's finished. Oh, it is nice. Nah, what do you think? It'll be dramatic on the runway. Yeah, no, I think it's good. It's very full. It's something that I've loved since a very young age. Like when I was three, I was making dresses out of wrapping paper and newspaper. I've just always loved what fashion can do for someone. It can really create a sense of a dream and really transport a person. It's like a Cinderella moment that you get to see with a lot of your clients. They become transformed. They become the best version of themselves when they put these dresses on. And that's a really nice thing to watch happen. My name is Paul Vasiliev. I'm the designer for Palo Fashion. It's a label that I started when I was 17 in my lounge room at home. And now we're here in a big two-story building and a staff of 19 people. <laughs> um, so we make everything here in-house um, in Adelaide, but we sell to several countries worldwide. It's just something that I've loved from, from a very young age. I love the, the, the textiles, the feel, the flow of the fabric and transforming that into a 3D piece is, is a lot of fun. The reason I choose to do couture is because there, there's such a craft to it and, um, and such skill that goes in, into all the pieces that we create. And, and it's a very traditional trade, really. It's not about going into a store and just grabbing something off the rack and putting it on. It's about getting it custom made to you, your measurements. You can change the colour, the fit, however you want it to be. And it's made by hand to the highest standard with beautiful fabrics. There's so many different things that inspire me, um, but I think ultimately um, storybooks and fairy tales are kind of at the root of it all. I grew up like most kids watching Disney films and old, you know, Audrey Hepburn films and things like that. And I was just always inspired by this glamorous other world. And from a very young age, I would be just drawing and drawing gowns. My nonna used to sew, so I used to sit and watch her sew, and I was just fascinated by how flat fabric can have such life brought to it. I even remember um, in Dad's shed making up my own mannequin out of uh, scraps of wood and sewing a dress to a mannequin and then realising that I couldn't get the dress off the mannequin. Then when I was 11, a friend of mine was looking through a magazine and, and she saw this dress that she fell in love with and I said, you know, why don't we try making it? So we, I did and then another friend saw that dress and loved it as well and they wanted one and then it kind of snowballed from there. So I was 11, 12 years old and I was making all these school formal dresses <laughs> for my friends. Then when I was around 14, I said, you know, I really one day would love to have a fashion show and I'd love to start my own label. I had great support from my family and friends, but a lot of people were saying, you know, you're not going to really be able to do that out of Adelaide or even out of Australia because the type of work that you want to do doesn't exist here. So the chances of you doing it on your own are impossible. And that, as a young kid, that's really hard to hear. But I kind of thought, well, it's my dream and it's something that I want to at least try doing. And when I was 17 in my last year of high school, I thought, well, this is a great opportunity for me to plan a fashion show and um, launch my label. So I did, and I, w I was working up until like 3 a.m. in the morning and then catching the bus to get to school at 7 a.m. in the morning. So I worked really, really hard and it worked. And uh, we had full page in the newspaper the next day. We had wonderful reviews from the show and I was starting to take orders for wedding dresses and I was halfway through year 12 at school. I forget that I'm 27. <laughs> I feel like time is just going by too fast because I still feel 17. It still feels like yesterday that I did that first show. So yeah, it sped by so, so quickly. I think for anyone, whether they're in the fashion or creative field or, or any field, I think be prepared to work hard, stay true to yourself, do it for the right reasons and be the absolute best that you can be and deliver your best work each and every day and try to do better each and every day. Talent can only get you so far, and I think people can look at you and they think, oh wow, and especially with fashion, people think it's such a glamorous industry. It's not. 
you know, and they think, oh, it's just parties and things. I don't go to parties, but one, I'm, I'm not really a party animal. And two, you don't get time to go to parties because you're working. Like when fashion festivals are on here, I don't get to go to anything. I go to my show and I'm backstage because the, the week leading up to it, we're here sewing till 4 a.m. in the morning. A lot of people don't realise the, the hours and the hard work that goes into fashion designer and even just running a business. So I think it's important to work hard and be prepared to work hard because nothing just comes easy to anyone.